What's up guys? In today's video, we are here to save the Ella campaign. I was out here in the garden earlier and I noticed my Ella campaign is way too wet. It is holding way too much water. I planted it in a pot last year and the pot, it's grown into the ground. The roots have, so you don't have to worry. The pot looks a little small there, but the pot is holding a lot of water and it's gonna kill my plant if I'm not careful. So I thought it's gonna be a very quick video, but I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what I do when I run into this situation. I don't want my plant to die of a root rot or any other sort of rot. As you can tell down here, I'll zoom in closer. I'm starting to get some leaf rot and I don't like that. So underneath here, I've got some leaves that are rotting. And if you look really close inside, I've got a ton of water in there. So it might be kind of hard to see, but deep down inside this pot, there is a ton of standing water. You can kind of see it underneath there of those leaves. So I'm gonna show you what I do and it's super easy. It doesn't, it's not very hard. Anyone can do it. I take an old towel and I'm gonna soak up the water. So sometimes back in the day, I used to take a cup and I would like dip it in there and throw it out, dip it in there and throw it out, but it never really got all the water. So it wasn't actually doing perfectly what I would want it to do. So I started to use a towel and it would just the job very, very well. Really quickly before I soak it up, how I could tell something was going on with my Ella campaign. So in general, my leaves started to curl quite a bit. You can see they're curling here, and which isn't always bad for Ella campaign because their leaves kind of grow out that way. But I started to see bigger leaves doing that, which is a sign, see that one curling like that? That's a sign that something's going on with my Ella campaign. The second thing that I noticed was ants all over my Ella campaign. When there's ants crawling on your plant, your plant may not be doing very well. That's one of the signs that I always look for. And so I'll fix those ants. They'll be what I tackle second. First, I'm gonna tackle the water. And then after I tackle the water and get that taken care of, I'll come back out here in a couple days and I'll look to see if I still have an ant problem. Um, if I do still have an ant problem, I'll use boron. I don't know if anyone's familiar with boron or borax or something like that. Um, I use like a little water, I use an empty water bottle and I'll put, um, just, I don't know, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of boron in there like you use for your washing machine and water and a little bit of sugar and I shake it really well and then I poke a bunch of holes in the top and I go and just set it inside like down in the, the dirt part near the roots and the ants will just crawl in there and happily take naps for the rest of their lives. But it's a great way to treat um, ants in the garden and it's super good for your plants and not harmful to you because we are natural gardeners here at Grand Fan Farm. Okay, so let's take care of this issue with extra water. All right, so I'm gonna grab my towel. I've got an old towel here. I'm literally just gonna start shoving it into the roots, okay? So I'm gonna bring it to the roots and you know what? I'm gonna see if I can get you closer with me. Whoops. Okay, so let me zoom in here on what's happening. So hopefully you can see this. If not, this part of the video will be pretty awesome. But there's a bunch of water in there, a bunch of water. Just a lot of standing water. Oh my gosh, Coon Cat scared the crap out of me. She started licking my toes. That was scary. Okay, so she was licking my toes and I thought it was something eating my toes. But it's just Coonie chilling. She's chilling. All right, now let's fix the root rot. Okay, so what we've got, oh, I'm so sorry. That whole part of the video was probably upside down for you. I'm so sorry about that, but eh, not gonna retake. Here we go. Okay, so deep down in here, you can see a bunch of standing water. So I'm gonna take my lovely towel right here and I'll just start filming this way. And I'm gonna start working it into the root system or underneath the leaves, working it in there. Gonna start just working it into the pot, working it around. In fact, I'm gonna move up to my lovely little holder here again. Bear with me for a second and then I'll turn it so you can just see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I'm on my plant. So as I'm lifting leaves and, and working my way around here, I'm gonna shove my, oh gosh, really fully on there. I'm gonna shove my towel inside and just start soaking up all the water. And you're gonna see, I mean, it's, it's gonna come out good. So hopefully you can get down in there and see what I'm doing. But I'm just shoving this towel in here and soaking up water like I, I would with a spill at my house. And I'm just gonna do it all the way around. Let that towel soak this water up because we want all, we do not want standing water at all in my Ella campaign. And this has probably been standing for a while because we've gotten a ton of rain this spring, which is fantastic because we were in a drought last year, but 
you have to be careful and watch your plants because too much water is also can be a bad thing. So we don't want that. But what we'll do is we'll just keep working it around. It's going to soak up all, you know, as much water as we possibly can in the first go. See, there's a bunch of roly polies in there. That's telling me I need to get this water out of here too. We'll just soak up as much as we can with it. Let me go down. I'll show you how wet my towel gets. Because my LP campaign, it's looking so pretty and it's going to bloom soon. So I don't want to just lose it. Let's save it. Okay, let me show you how wet my towel is. This is just from the first dab. Okay. My towel's wet in some places like that's soaked. This side's soaked. And we're just going to keep doing it. Get the water out. Get the water out. Okay? Just keep soaking it. And all this water just needs to be sopped up with this towel. So I just keep pushing the dry parts in there. Soaking up that water. You can see it's really, really soaking it. And just keep going. And pretty soon, after you pull it out, goodness, Ooh. after you pull it out, it's going to have it all soaked up. It's a slower process, but this is the way to do it. So I'm going to put it in there, let the towel sit in there for the day as it soaks it all up. And then I'll come get it out later tonight after I get back from this baseball game. And hopefully all the water will be out. So we'll find out together later on if it did it. But that's how you get excess water out of your Ella Campaign plant. Usually it's not an issue, but I've got it in a pot as like it's base here. And I know its roots go underneath. But when you do that, sometimes it can trap water. So always be cautious when there's too for too much rain as well i think a lot of people focus on just the drought will also look out for too much rain everything looks good here thanks for joining me good luck and good health bye guys